Welcome back to another video. Don't mind this little tuft of hair. Um, I'm filming this video as quick as I can because it's Monday and the launch is on Saturday. As you can tell by the title of this video, we need no introduction. It's another Alphalete haul. This haul is mainly men's items. Um, girlies hold tight because it is more amplified dropping in June. Christian has posted like a sneak peek thing, so I will pop it in here so you can see what colours are coming. If anyone's curious which colours I'm most excited for, the baby pink is giving me Pink Sands Alpha Lux top, like the vest top. If anyone remembers that, it was like August 2020, I think. Oh my god, it's reminding me of that and that I've been waiting for an amplifier in that sort of pink colour just for like Barbie vibes. So I'm very excited for that and I'm excited for the purple because Alpha Lee never do purple. So those are the colours I'm most excited for. Let me know which ones you were excited for. By the way, for next month's amplifier drop, because I know it's going to be June with it being brighter colours and to be honest, Alpha Lee have really still not fixed the lack of diversity when it comes to their athletes definitely get in there with the models and i want to give like full credit to kirby and chelsea because they're fully in charge of that but like the athlete side is so lacking they still don't have as far as i'm aware they still don't have any dark skin female athletes so there's no dark skin female athletes doing hauls um so you guys some of you who've got deeper skin tones can't really see in like natural lighting real life sort of imagery what those colours would look like on your skin tone so because I know it's going to be amplified next month I can try and conversate with Gabby who I did the birthday sale launch with and try and get a date booked in to do some filming with her of the new colours so you can see it on two different skin tones if you want me to do that let me know uh, because then I will message Gabby and see if we can get something sorted out um, but yeah the diversity issue when it comes to the athletes has still not been fixed also, I am aware uh, that it's quite literally insane that I even need to put that out there as an idea because this is something that should have been sorted out by now. Like I really want to see a lot more diversity on the men's side as well when it comes to, I feel like the men's side is really lacking in diversity of like different body shapes and sizes, but I feel like the women's like completely lacking in diversity when it comes to skin tone and of course size and shapes as well um i know that i said i would try and do an amplify video with people of different sizes and shapes i still would love to do that video the only issue is when i put my email out there for people to get in touch with me the biggest size that came was a medium and there is actually a couple of athletes that already work with alpha Lee who i don't really want to take away from who are a size medium um I was more looking for like large, extra large, double XL, like double extra small, the sizes that you don't really see people wearing often. So if you do wear those sizes in Alphalete and you would be willing to partake in a video or something, let me know. But I'll leave my Discord group link down below, which is like basically just a beautiful community of fitness girls. And we have a sizing... Um, server in the discord so people will post their pictures of themselves in alpha Lee, what size they're wearing and there's all different like ages sizes body shapes skin tones so you can see like what certain colors might look on you sizing on different like body shapes and sizes ages even if you are would maybe a bit older and wondering what this stuff would look like on you really 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 good little community and everyone in there is gorgeous this launch will be a relatively small launch for my girls there isn't really any women's specific and i'm saying specific because technically anything can be worn unisex and i feel like men could wear women's items too like pop off i'm not judging but i do feel like typically women tend to wear more men's stuff than men's would women if that makes sense but to be clear the only item in this drop that is based off women's sizing is the women's mesh shorts which is a new product the rest is men's it can be worn unisex but keep in mind the sizing hasn't been made with unisex in mind it's men's sizing but on the screen everything that's dropping the drop is the 20th so it's this saturday this saturday and it's at 6 p.m uk time um the drop is like i said mainly men's it's your staples t-shirts all that sort of stuff so probably more of a drop for the guys and for the girls there are some joggers which i'm gonna go over probably first because they're the things i've had most questions about and there's some t-shirts as well and then we've got the mesh shorts as always i have a code with alpha Lee, which is amy 
it gets you 10% off and it also massively helps my relationship with the brand and I would really, really appreciate it if you do use it, that you message me so I can say thank you. I always respond to every single question, every single DM I get, whether it's Alphalete or not. Um, I will always respond and if you do use my code, I always like to thank people. I know that some people don't want a thank you and that's fine, um, but I really, really do like it when people message me so that I can say thank you. I feel like it's only fair that I take time out of my day. Like I take probably a few hours every week going through my DMs and making sure I've answered everyone. Uh, if people take the time out of their day to message me, best believe I'm gonna be writing back. Because I know last time there was a men's drop, I knew there was an Amplify drop coming up. So I told people, idiots, to wait for the Amplify drop to get the men's stuff that they wanted because it won't sell out. It did sell out, so stance on like, should you buy something or should you wait is, if you're on the fence about something, I always think it's better to wait because then by the time you go to buy something else that you really want, if it's sold out, maybe it wasn't meant to be. If it's still there and you still really want it, you can get it then. But by that point, if you're on the fence about it, you might not even want it anymore. Um, so that's my personal stance on should you wait. I always will say now, I'm never going to say it, wait again because the seashell t-shirt sold out last time and everyone was like, yeah, but you said it wouldn't sell out. I really didn't think it would sell out and I don't like FOMO marketing. Um, but just to, just to cover my back here, if there's anything that you really, really do like, this tuft of hair is doing my head in, if there's anything in this drop that you really, really do like and you know you definitely want it, I wouldn't wait until the June Amplify launch to pick it up just in case it goes out of stock. Um, that's my updated advice. Uh, but always, no pressure to buy. They do drops like monthly at this point. So, and to be honest, they're bringing colours back like seashell sold out, but now it's back in another t-shirt and tanks and joggers. So it seems like they're getting the memo with sort of keeping colours in rotations of collections. So never stress yourself out. It's literally only clothes and most people have got bigger fish to fry than an alphalete order. So I am going to get on with the haul. Uh, so the things that I'm going to go over first is the joggers because that is a thing I have been asked about the most. So I'll go over the joggers I've been asked about the most first which is the new Academy Relax Jogger. So just to be like clear about this, this is a brand new item for alphalete. It's a brand new fabric. It's something that they've not done before and Sometimes when brands say we've not done this before and then you can receive the item, it seems similar to something else, but genuinely Alphalete haven't really done just a jogger like this before. If you are curious as to what this is like, I don't want to say just a jogger because it sounds like I'm really like minimising the probably hours that's gone into creating this, but like if you own any pair of normal joggers, think along those vibes. It's 53% cotton, 47% polyester. Um, but if I show you the inside, you can see it's like a typical, it's your typical jogger. That sort of like cotton brushed sort of fleecy feel. And then the outside is exactly how you would expect any sort of cotton jogger to feel. Um, if you have any other products from Alphalete in terms of feel, like I said, they haven't really done something with the inside of this before in joggers. However, if you have the Unity hoodies or any of the men's classic zips, which I've actually got here, um, if you have any of those, it's ex th these feel exactly like that. Let me actually just check the fabric blend on these. So these are 55% cotton, 45% polyester, so they are a little bit different. But honestly, like, to feel, to touch that 2%, unless you looked at the label, you wouldn't know. In terms of, like, thickness, it's also, like, the unit hoodies and the classic zip-up. So, straight away, these are not heavyweight joggers. These are not heavy-duty joggers. I will always compare joggers to Nikki Studios, which is a Swedish, I think, company, um... Completely off topic, but their recent drop I actually wasn't impressed with and I did email them and they've completely changed their GSM They're doing like a lower GSM at the moment Which I don't really like because I can get that anywhere So their products like this drop wasn't really special for me from them, but this is a not a Nikki Studios video um, But everyone who watches my hauls Regularly will have heard me speak about them before if you've not heard me speak about them before Nikki Studios I have a pair of joggers from them that is like a heavy heavy weight jogger i've never felt anything like it i've never had anything 
quality wise quite like it I've never had, had anything hauled up so well quite like it. I've had those joggers for two and a half years now almost. No pilling, no bobbling, still just as soft. Um, the colour's not gone weird, they've not washed weird. They are like an incredible pair of joggers. So when I compare things to Nikki Studios, that is the vibes if you do not already know about the Nikki Studios vibes because I do bang on about it a lot when I'm talking about joggers. Um, so yeah, these are a lightweight jogger. Now when I say lightweight, they're thin, they're light, but because they have like this sort of fleecy feel to them, you can get quite warm in them. I've trained in these twice now, and I do find that I get warm in these like I do in the Here Comes the Sun ones. So if you train in the Here Comes the Sun ones and you find that they are too warm for you, these will probably be too warm for you to train in as well. But for me, I wear joggers for like the first few exercises and then I take them off. So these are actually fine to train in. Just to run over the details, now that I've sort of like explained about the fabric, you've got a sort of cinched, not ribbed, but like, you know, this sort of like cinched waistband at the top the drawstring is on the inside um these aren't really very detailed to be honest normally i'll fully put branding on the drawstrings there's no sort of branding on these they're a very sort of plain jogger you've then got a front seam and then you've got a back seam and also got this little alpha leap tag here uh, just on the left by the pocket which is very very small that is the only branding on these joggers they're a very minimally branded joggers you've got pockets on both sides which i do like how these look i feel like they look quite slick um, and put together and then you've got this sort of stretchy sort of silky on the inside then they just come down into like a very relaxed fit yeah they're saying relaxed fit i would agree it's a relaxed fit jogger and then the cuff at the bottom looks like this so now that i've gone over the details i'm going to very quickly put in some clips of me comparing these to the here comes the sun joggers to the very terry joggers and to the essential oversized joggers from a while ago so i will pop those clips in here okay, so here comes the sun is behind and the new ones are in front um just fit wise like these are both a size small a women's size small in the here comes the sun and then these ones obviously the new men's ones the waistband is pretty much the exact same i'll pop specific measurements and everything in the description box or in a pinned comment um but yeah but as you can see like the here comes the sun ones are just a bit like wider in the actual body like they've got more room in the leg um they're just a bit baggier and then when you get to the bottom you can see that the new ones have a bigger cuff as well so the cuff is wider than the here comes the sun ones and it's also like this one's a bit thicker this way the new one for the new men's joggers is a bit thinner as you can see like flatly these look like they're the exact same length however if you look at like the crotch area the here comes the sun crotch ends like here whereas this one ends here so more of the length on the new ones is waistband to crotch as opposed to being in the leg the new ones are a 27 inch inseam in a size small for mine and the here comes the sun ones are 29 inches which i personally way prefer the length of these we've got the very terry joggers so behind they're in a blue in an actual men's size small so again like the waistband is maybe a little bit bigger but not too much of a difference and then the crotch on these again is a little bit longer um not as much difference as the ones with the here comes the sun ones but it is a little bit longer on these new ones but it's not that much of a difference between the men's very terry and these ones the fit through the leg is honestly a lot more similar it's just when you get to the bottom the very terry is a lot more like tapered in where this one's a lot bigger and obviously the cuff is completely different on the bottom of these but through the actual leg up until about here they fit quite similar to the very terry ones like they're not quite as big as the here comes the sun ones and we've got the essential oil stain ones these were from black friday 2021 i believe waistband these are actually an extra small behind so keep that in mind this is an extra small and then these ones are a size small so obviously the waistband is a little bit bigger um but just to show you like sort of fit through the leg i would honestly say these are pretty much an identical fit like the fit through the leg it definitely does remind me of these joggers the most and then if you look at the bottom it's very very similar so if you're looking for like the most similar fit these fit most similar to these which i also find these too short if you got these because i know that a few taller girls got these and found these way too short in the leg 
I do think you'll probably have the same issue with the new ones and bear in mind like these are an extra small these new ones are a small and you don't really get that much um extra length so if you're looking like fit wise if you liked these ones you love these ones if you didn't like these ones these probably will not be the ones for you just to sort of show you guys textures obviously this is the new one so this is like i mean if you're looking at this on your own pretty much any pair of joggers it is exactly like that just like the soft sort of brushed feel on the inside these are the essential ones so i remember when i got these these definitely feel like very 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 thin i don't think these were as brushed as this when i got them but they definitely weren't like this when i got them they've washed a little bit strange to be honest um then you've got the here comes the sun one so these a lot of people found these quite strange because even when you first get these they're like bobbly on the inside so it's very different in like feel this is a lot softer this is more like bobbly and then very terry this is like a towel feel so very very different so they're all different i would say this feels sort of like the unity hoodies like i've said the classic full zip hoodies the only other thing to note is a lot of people have issues with alpha leak joggers pilling um these haven't pilled these have pilled these have pilled my varsity joggers have pilled every time they do a sort of cotton jogger other than the very terry range they do pill and on my desert taupe ones i have some pilling already so if that's going to bug you something to be aware of i always find i get it between the thighs maybe from like where the fabric rubs against each other i do see people saying that with cotton joggers it's inevitable personally i don't really agree with that because i do have plenty of cotton joggers that haven't pilled i'd love to know what other people's experiences are with like joggers and pilling especially alpha elite ones let me know below but yeah these i'm not going to say they 100 percent will pill but they're not like not gonna pill if that makes sense they probably will pill so that's something to be aware of to sort of show you the pilling on my desert top ones i always get it in the same region it's like this bit here where my legs would kind of be like rubbing together it always just pills in this area like all my elf elite joggers have pretty much done it i don't know what causes it probably the friction but yeah just to show you what it looks like so the colors that i got these in i got these in desert top in a size small i got these in black in a medium and i got these in oh you're not even going to be able to see so i'm not even going to bother i got them in the heather gray color which you'll see in the try on clips also in a size small the mediums were for dan the smalls were more for me because i thought based off men's sizing you know if i'm a small usually in women's like i said i really like how my women's hair comes to sun joggers fit if i'm a small in those my thought process was in a relaxed fit jogger for men's for more of an oversized fit probably get the same size I actually wish I'd got a medium in these. I actually do. Now that I've worn them a few times, I prefer how the medium fits. So I might actually pick myself up some mediums because these are actually Dan's. I'm not going to take them away from him. I'm not going to rip them from his hands like a baby. The medium fits through the leg a lot more to my preference than the small does. The only issue with the medium is, which to be honest, it happens with the small anyway, is with the medium, the ankle is actually quite loose on my ankle so i do actually have to but if i roll it once it looks a lot better um even in the small the ankle is actually a little bit wide on me so i do like to roll it once of the rise for these joggers um on the pictures they're worn pretty low rise the men i've seen them on wearing them low rise i've seen a few girls wearing them a bit more high rise for me i can't do that because i've got a long torso and i just feel like it looks weird also when i pull these high rise the leg is then way too short on me so the only way i can sort of get the size smalls in particular to work is to wear them as more of a low rise jogger but i actually don't mind that because i think when you're wearing what i will be wearing these for so sort of like a pump cover maybe with amplify underneath it looks a bit better for it to be a bit lower down so you can see the amplify waistband anyway so i'm not mad at it personally i would say these are a low to mid rise jogger for me they're definitely not a high-waisted jogger okay i've not seen anyone speak about this yet and the pdf does say it's a 28 and a half inch inseam but maybe i've got like a dud batch in terms of like length because the inseam on mine in the size smalls is 27 inches the mediums is 27.5 so it's not that much longer but the inseam on my size smalls is 27 inches. So 
I've got a few questions on are these like tall girl friendly. Everyone's going to have a different experience in these and I think if you go up a couple sizes, like I know for me a medium is a lot more length friendly for whatever reason than a small is but it's still not the best. I definitely still prefer the length of the Here Comes the Sun ones. It's going to depend a lot on your like body proportions but if you have really long legs... I actually, unless you're going to go a few sizes up and have a super oversized fit, I actually don't really think these are that particularly tall girl friendly, but keep in mind these were made for men. These were not made for women, so <laughs> um, I would love to see a jogger like this made for women, if anyone from All Fleet is watching, I would love to see that, but do keep in mind these were not made for women, so that's why like the crotch is longer than my Hair Comes the Sun women's ones, but the legs is shorter than my Hair Comes the Sun women's ones. Like that's where the height difference comes in because when I flat lay, as you'll have seen, my Hair Comes the Sun and these new ones, they look the same length. However, a lot of the length in these new joggers is from waistband to crotch. The leg itself on these is actually quite short and it does impact how it fits and how it sort of rides up and stuff. These were a 27 inch inseam for me. My Here Comes the Sun ones are a 29 inch inseam. And I actually like it when I get a bit of like baggage at the bottom that I have to roll. I would much rather have that than every time I sit down or every time I do a lunge or a leg press, which kept happening in the gym today. Um, the jogger was sort of rolling up above my sock. So I had like the end of my jogger, then this much skin on show then my sock which was quite off-putting when I'm trying to balance and do my Bulgarians um but any sort of pressing movements that sort of happened so these honestly like I do like them I don't hate them I think they're like a good quality option for a lightweight jogger I don't think they're bad quality there's no glaring quality issues as far as I can see however these are not like a heavyweight jogger so if you are looking for a heavyweight jogger you will not like this. Like I know that some people don't like the men's full zips because they feel cheap because they're lightweight and they're a lot thinner and these are along the same vibe. So if you didn't like the thinness of the classic zip ups, you won't like these joggers. But if you want a lightweight jogger, these will be fine. I wish it was this fabric, these colors, but in the fit of the Here Comes the Sun ones because also, I think the Here Comes the Sun ones because they sort of balloon out a bit more. They're just more flattering on like your bum and they don't sort of catch weird. Whereas these almost feel like, not so much in the medium, but definitely in the smalls, these feel like they're a bit, they look a bit weird on my bum. But I feel like it's maybe because they're a men's fit. So maybe if this was in a women's version, it would be better, but I would really like to see a longer inseam on these because these do come up actually quite short on me. Because when I'm training, which is what I would use these for to go over amplify on leg days and stuff, I don't really want to be worrying about, you know, things rolling up so much that it looks like I'm wearing something that doesn't fit. When I'm stood up straight, they look great, but as soon as I sit down or like bend my legs, the bottom of them just rides up and it just doesn't look great. So I'd love to see this, but in the fit of the Here Comes the Sun joggers. That's definitely still my favourite like jogger silhouette from Alphalete. I feel like it's just more sort of baggy at the top and like it's just a bit looser through the leg. They're definitely an oversized fit, whereas these are definitely more of a relaxed. In terms of like the weight of these, um, this is a really niche thing that I did, but I feel like it might be helpful. So when I'm talking about how lightweight or heavyweight something is, sometimes it can be quite hard to grasp. So I did actually wear these. So my Nikki Studios joggers, which are like the holy grail of high quality, heavy duty joggers, 580 grams. These new ones are 380 grams, so 200 grams lighter in weight. And then if you were curious about these compared to Here Comes the Sun, because that is the jogger I've been asked to most frequently compare these to, those are 480. So these are definitely lighter than the Here Comes the Sun joggers. If you're taller, you might want to go up a couple sizes to try and get a bit of extra length. Shorter girls, you will be fine and you'll probably like these a lot more than the Here Comes the Sun ones because they are shorter in the leg. Um, but for me, I just feel like I do prefer the overall fit and length of the Here Comes the Sun joggers. Um, Alphalete, please, can we get like this fabric in the Here Comes the Sun fit? Because that would be like my ideal 
jogger for like training in and even just like lounging around in when I want something that's a bit more lightweight compared to my Nikki Studios ones. Yeah, another thing to be aware of, these will molt on your amplify, so maybe wash them a few times before wearing them over amplify. My brown ones molted all over my chai amplify today, so do be aware of that. Um, in terms of would I recommend these, it depends what you want from a jogger and I think it also depends on your height and build. If you are on the taller side, you need to go up a couple sizes. If you're on the short side, you'll be completely fine, like I said. And if you are looking for like a really heavyweight, heavy duty jogger, I wouldn't recommend these. But if you want something that's lightweight that you can sort of use as a bit of a like leg pump cover and take off after a few sets to train in the gym, these will be fine. Uh, comfortable for lounging around. They are very soft. They are very comfortable, but they are definitely more of a lighter weight jogger. But keep in mind what I said about them being like the cotton fleece on the inside. They do get quite warm when you start training. In terms of sizing, again, it's going to depend on leg length and what sort of fit you want. I would say for me personally, if this helps, I prefer the way the medium fits on me. And my preference is I like my joggers to be really, really, really baggy. I like them to be the right length and my normal size in joggers for alpha Leap, for example my here comes a sun joggers are a size small i would take a medium in these to try and get a similar fit to that although it's still not the same i would say that these fit true to size it just depends on what sort of a fit you want so if you just want a normal jogger fit you don't want it super big you can go with your normal size you don't need to take a size down because it's men's because i actually don't think the difference between men's and women's joggers with alpha Leap is big at all. I think it's pretty much the exact same. Overall, not my favourite jogger from Alpha Lee, but not a bad product. I'm just quite specific with how I like my joggers to fit and I'm not keen on how these sit lengthwise on me personally. I will be wearing them. Um, and especially if you've got shorter legs, I actually really would recommend them. I think you will like them if you like a relaxed fit jogger. But for me, it's definitely something I would recommend but it's not my favourite. I hope that makes sense. I'm going to go over the other jogger, which is just the Academy Club jogger. I only got this in the smoke colour and I got these in a medium. I got these for Dan. The branding on these and the details is slightly different. So you've actually got a ribbed waistband on these and then you've got the drawstring on the outside so you can adjust them. You've then got on the left, you've got embossed Alpha Lee Athletics on this side. And then on the other side again, you've got the little alpha leap tag. The fabric blend on these is the exact same as the other joggers. These have a 29 and a half inch inseam. Um, I've not actually measured mine and checked yet, but I will and I will leave it down below. Um, but when I put these on, these do feel longer and these do feel a better length through the leg for me. And then at the bottom, you've got this suspiciously long ankle cuff. So yeah, these are more of a relaxed fit up top but then it goes into a tapered leg so if you don't quite like the relaxed fit at the bottom of a jogger and you still want baggy up top but a bit tapered at the bottom you would probably prefer these like i said got these in a medium i actually like how these fit like from the knee up i think these are more flattering on my body shape than the other joggers i just don't like the bottom of these like i've said before of like a relaxed throughout the leg baggy fit jogger that's just right up my street but i feel like these are just more flattering on my waist i feel like they are a lot more flattering on my bum than the other ones because these come up a bit more and i feel like the other ones make my glutes look really short whereas these do actually make my bum look more flattering than the other ones i know that when you're buying joggers you're probably not thinking about what makes your bum look best because they're meant to be sort of baggy but in case anyone was wondering, my bum and like waist and ratios and stuff look better in these than the other ones. But from the knee down, not a fan because I'm not a huge fan of a tapered jogger. That's why I really like the Here Comes the Sun ones because they're just baggy throughout. Um, I also really don't like this cuff. For me, this is just too long. I don't know if this is a men thing, but I just feel like this cuff is just too long. If it was like half, I feel like it would look a lot better. Obviously still not the jogger for me because it's a tapered fit. It's just not my personal preference. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not my preference. But I do know from my group chat as well, 
a lot of people find this a bit too long and think it looks a little bit strange. Um, I don't think it looks that weird once it's on, but I'm still not a huge fan of it. Um, the smoke colour I do actually really, really like. I sort of wish I'd got the joggers in seashell and smoke in the other joggers in a medium i might end up picking those up for myself um but yeah the fabric and everything is the exact same as the other one so they're just as sort of a lightweight feel it's got the sort of cottony fleece on the inside standard sort of jogger feel so there's no difference in materials between the two ultimately which jogger you would prefer if you're wanting to pick one up depends on your personal preference for joggers if you like more of your relaxed street wear sort of look you'll prefer the academy relaxed jogger if you prefer a more sort of relaxed while still looking a little bit smarter looking jogger you'll prefer the academy club jogger which is this one um not my not my personal cup of tea like i personally wouldn't recommend these based off my personal style but i was actually quite surprised with from the knee up how flattering these were they're definitely more flattering than the other ones i feel like if these maybe had a i feel like maybe if we got rid of this waistband put the other waistband on these joggers so that this is hidden so this would be on the inside and then kept the fit of these from the hip to the knee and then added the bottom of the other joggers that would be like to be honest, that would be very close to the Here Comes the Sun joggers, which is basically what I've just described. Um, and I would absolutely love that. Sizing wise on these, I know that Dan said that he finds these true to size. He's a medium in joggers. He likes a medium in these. He's a medium in joggers and he likes the medium in the other ones. I would say, yeah, these fit like a medium. If I was to buy these, I would probably buy myself a medium because um, I like my joggers to be oversized. But again, same sizing advice applies as did for the other ones. Just because it's men's, ladies, if you are buying, don't think that you need to size down because it's men's because I really don't think there's a big difference between how the men's and women's joggers fit in terms of like tightness through the leg. I think they're pretty neck and neck. So I would say just go with your normal size if you just want a true to size jogger go with your normal size if you want more relaxed if you want more room you can go up a size and if you want them to fit a little bit tighter you can go down a size it's all about personal preference but these are true to size i've just changed the camera angle because i felt like i was getting cramp in my glute um so i've just changed the camera angle this bit of pear is really pissing me up we're gonna move on to the tops it's a brand new fabric for alphalete it's a new brushed fabric like if i show you up close with the camera can you like sort of see like almost like the brushed cotton look to it like it almost looks fluffy up close i do have a good comparison point which i've put people on before so i think a lot of you will know the fabric um but yeah i'm gonna go over the tees now so like i said this is a brand new fabric for alpha Lee. it says our new lightweight ultra ultra stretchy all-purpose fabric each brushed piece undergoes a gentle surface surface treatment that results in giving the new the user a new favorite go-to top i found that bit of a mouthful it's 95 cotton five spandex which is a very common popular popular very common fabric blend for alpha leap to use on their t-shirts however it's the wash that's giving it this sort of brushed sort of feel to it um so even if you're looking at the label and you're thinking it's the same that's why it feels completely different because these really do feel different to the other alpha leap tops they're not like the heavy cotton ones and they're not like the um, collegate or signature tees which had a sort of more slick performance sort of feel. These are like fluffy brushed cotton vibes. Okay, I'm going to go over the Wolfhead Muscle Tank first. Um, we picked these up in a few colours. I think we got black, seashell and sangria. By the way, Dan's haul is in this video so he has tried them all on. But yeah, right here, I've just got the sangria one and then I'll show you me in the seashell one as well. Um, the seashell one is a large and the sangria one is a medium. Yeah, so just to go over the details, you've got a sort of scoop neck here. It's not like super wide, but it's not like super high either. And then you've got the sort of cut off tank effect. I mean, the clue is in the word, it's a muscle tank. But I will say this comes a lot further on the shoulder than previous Alpha Leap muscle tanks that I've tried. Um, it sort of reminds me a little bit of the Velocity 
uh, tanks fit on the shoulder. If you have any of those pieces, that's what it reminds me of. Um, it's not like a raw cut seam, it's like a fully finished seam. And then they're very like wide in the body. Obviously it's men's anyway, but they're very wide in the body. And then the final little detail on this is just that the branding is a little sticker wolf logo on the back. Um, it's sort of, it's not like a thin sticker, it's like a, a slightly thicker sticker and feels a bit more rubbery if that makes sense. If you've got like anything that's rubber embossed from Alpha Leap, that's what the logo's like, but that's the only branding on this. And they're also quite short, uh, not to the point where like the bottom of your belly is going to be hanging out, but they're definitely shorter than some of the men's Alpha Leap tanks that I bought Dan before. Like I bought him the Aspire tank before and that's a lot longer. These are shorter, these sort of won't cover the bum, these sort of do just come sort of to the hip, but it's a it's a good length for a tank. Um, obviously, I don't know much about tanks, so I'm not going to pretend that I do. I've got this in the medium and the large, like I said. For me personally, if I was to wear one, I would be wearing it in a medium and I would be tucking it into my sports bra, which I've shown you in the try-on clips. That is how I would wear these. Obviously, Dan would wear these just normal. You'll see his clips in this video. He says that these fit true to size. He is always a large in tops at the moment. He got a large in these and it fits perfect. The medium is too tight on the armpit. Um, I know that he did say he thinks if you have small arms as a guy, the cut on the sleeve might make your arms look a little bit strange. Um, but he said like if you've got fuller arms it does look good and I agree it does look yeah if you're a guy watching this or you're a girl watching for your boyfriend true to size for Alpha Leet's top sizing Dan's always a large and he got a large in those and it fits perfect um, girls if you are wanting to get one of these to wear it depends on your fit preference true to size if you just want like a normal fit and you don't want to like tuck it in or anything. I always think if you want to tuck something in, you're better going up one to two sizes just so you can then sort of bag it out. In the medium, this is like the perfect amount of fabric for me to play around with to sort of tuck it up and then bag it out. The large, it's a bit too much fabric that I'm tucking up there. So for me, for my fit for this, I'm wearing a medium, but I would only wear this tucked. And to be honest, I wouldn't really wear this. It's not really my thing. I got these more for Dan. It's just not really my thing. It's not a bad product by any means. It's just not my thing, uh, which I think sort of goes without saying. I'm going to move on to the t-shirts because that's actually my favourite product in this drop. I love the t-shirts. The new t-shirts are insane. You're only going to pick up one thing from this drop. This is the item I am putting my like fully fledged stamped approval of me behind because i feel like the joggers they're not a bad product but i feel like for taller people they don't really work these are going to work for everyone and i'm convinced if you have taken my advice on the skims boyfriend range tea and you like that tea but you feel like the quality maybe could have been a bit better it could have been a bit thicker these you're gonna love them and the feedback i've had on the skims t-shirts is so good so i cannot wait to see the feedback on these if you pick one up because I feel like the feedback is going to be like that but on crack because these are better these are better than the skims ones but along the very same vibe so as I said in when I was talking about the tanks this fabric it's the same fabric on the t-shirts it's 95% cotton 5% spandex but it's got that wash on it that's sort of a brushed cotton feel if you've got the skims boyfriend range you know what I mean by like the super super soft almost like fluffy cottony feel jersey that's what this feels like, but this is thicker. So this feels a bit more heavy duty. Now it's not a super thick top. Don't get me wrong, it's not a super thick top, but it feels like the boyfriend t-shirts, but a more heavy duty version. And I absolutely love these. So just to go over the details very quickly, um, by the way, these have got some marks on because since I got them on Friday, I have been wearing them like swapping days ever since. And I trained in the brown one earlier. So it's got like sweat marks on it. Um, love that. So we've got the Heather Grey and it says L LDB Learn Dream Be More. And then you've got the little wolf logo. Um, and that's the only branding on the front, which I really like. I think it's nice to have a little something on the front. Um, I've definitely noticed in, whilst I've had the Collegate Tees more, 
I don't really like it when there's nothing on the front. It just feels a bit too much of an empty canvas. So I'm really glad that they put a little bit of branding on the front of these. And then the branding at the back, it says 0215 and Alphalete across the bottom at the back. And this is just in like the classic sort of sticker that you'd get on a t-shirt. Yeah, the sleeves are pretty long on these um, and just a nice, over, not oversized, a more like relaxed fit, but obviously this is oversized because I got it in a medium. I'm going to pop in a clip here where I'm going to compare these to the signature tees, the colligate tees and the heavy cotton tees. Okay, so because the heavy cotton ones actually run a bit smaller, that's why it's in front. Um, but just to talk you through the differences, the actual sleeve length is pretty similar, to be honest. Um, so yeah, the sleeve length isn't really too much of a difference between the new t-shirts and the heavy cotton ones, if you've got those. The neckline is obviously different. The heavy cotton one comes up a lot higher and the ribbing part is a lot thicker. Whereas on these ones, it's deeper. Like you can sort of see your sports bra sometimes if it sort of slides to one side and it's a bit um, deeper. Um, so it's a bit more like slouchy. And then in terms of like the fit through the body, these are both mediums. Obviously the new ones are a lot bigger. They're a lot more similar to the sort of like signature tee sizing, um, not too far off the coll colligate, a little bit smaller than the colligate, but not too far off. So I prefer a large in the heavy cotton tees, especially if I wanna be tucking it into the back. I've realized I definitely do prefer a large in the new t-shirts that are dropping, I prefer a medium. So I would say if you, go up a lot of sizes for your heavy cotton tees you can definitely go with a size smaller in these especially if when you've bought the signature tee in the same size that you would like the heavy cotton one in you find it a bit big it is like a boxier fit in these new ones as well so definitely go with the same size that you get in the signature tee or the colligate tee for these we've got the women's signature tee so obviously it's a bit deeper cut here actually even deeper than this and this is all ribbed whereas this one is more like just sort of the same continuation of material. Um, the women's cut is also, as always, it's like wider. Um, so you can definitely see more of like your sports bra strap, strap on show, whereas the men's cuts will always be a bit more narrow. That's just tends to be a running theme. Um, the sleeves on the women's ones are obviously a lot shorter. Uh, the sleeves on these new men's ones are a lot longer. Also the shoulder cut on this is a lot more of just like a straight, shoulder whereas on this it looks a little more dropped through the body the women's medium is the exact same as this men's one in terms of width so that fit is the exact same the new ones obviously being men's are just a bit longer probably like an inch and a half longer colligate to a medium so the fit through the body is actually very similar the colligate one is actually a little bit bigger um but the fit through the body is very similar it's probably like maybe half an inch wider through the body length is the exact same there's no difference there if we come up to the neckline very similar just the colligate one is actually a bit wider and actually a little bit more deeper and wider in cut than the new one um if i like pull this down can we tell more yeah you can tell more there this colligate one is a bit wider so this one's a little bit more snug but obviously it's not like the heavy cotton one as you've just seen the colligate tees have got more of like a dropped shoulder so the shoulder starts here whereas on the new ones it's definitely more just normal and the new ones actually do have a bit of a longer sleeve i would say the sleeves are a little longer on the new ones compared to the colligate ones of which tee i would recommend um, it really, I like all of these. I will train in all of these, but I won't do everything in all of these. I would do everything in the new one. The heavy cotton I like just for training. It's not like a super comfortable lounging t-shirt, just with it being a bit stiffer. The colligate ones, to be honest, I just got too big a size and I feel like this feels more like a sort of performance feel, slick-ish t-shirt. So I prefer these for in the gym. I wear them sometimes running errands, but this is definitely more of my like everything t-shirt. I will train in this. I will run errands in this. I just love this t-shirt. So which one 
you will prefer will massively depend because some people might not like training in such a soft like brushed cotton feel top if you prefer more of a slick performance feel the colligate or signature tees or any of the performance tees will be a lot better for you and if you prefer that sort of vintage stiffer heavyweight cotton for your pump cover for training in then the unisex pump covers will be the one for you it's purely down to personal preference for me this one wins just because i will use this for everything but i still love all three it's just if i could only pick one for like multiple different uses it would be this new one this is like yeah <laughs> new favorite top in terms of t-shirts from alpha lee love so yeah i got this in black in a large but that's for dan I don't have that with me because it's actually worn it to work. Um, and then I got the desert top in an extra small. Little Miss Gabby Harper requested for me to get this in an extra small. But do you know what? I'm glad I did because I've never tried a men's item in an extra small. And it made me realise that like an extra small is still oversized in men's when it comes to the t-shirts. So definitely depends the level of oversize that you want. Because even if you go true to size as a woman in men's in the tops you're still going to get an oversized fit if that makes sense um but i like an oversized fit so i do prefer the medium which i got in the heather gray color um just really really quickly as well this desert taupe color is not the exact same as the joggers there's actually a bit of a difference i feel like the desert taupe t-shirt almost looks a bit more on the greeny brown side i mean it's still not green but like more like greeny brown and the desert top joggers are more on the gray side i'm looking at the picture and it looks a lot more like mocha on the product pictures it's definitely a lot darker than mocha and i will actually put in my color wheels and stuff here which i already have for most of the colors because they've dropped before but the new edition is desert top i've not done one for heavy gray because like love you guys but like it's gray it's gonna go with anything and it is very similar to the previous heather gray i would just say that the heather gray in the joggers and in the men's hoodies is just a tiny bit darker but they're very very similar pull the wheels in so you can sort of see what colors i would sort of pair these with um and yeah i've got all the color wheels for all of the colors yeah oh my god guys this fabric is insane it is so soft so stretchy this is by far in terms of t-shirts like oversized t-shirts pump covers this is the comfiest way of doing that that alpha Lee have done so far like this is their comfiest oversized t-shirt ever this feels so good um the only thing is these are quite lightweight tops but because of the sort of brushed cotton feel to them I actually found I get quite warm in these in the gym, which I don't mind because I don't mind it when I show sweat, but I get a lot warmer in these a lot quicker than I do in the Colligate tees, which are more of a slick sort of performance feel. And it's not because these feel heavier. I feel like it's because it's got that sort of brushed cotton feel. You just warm up a bit more. And then because of the nature of this fabric, out of all the t-shirts, this will show sweat. Out of all the pump cover sort of vibes, this is going to show sweat the absolute easiest so if you don't like sweat showing this won't be for you for the gym but i would still recommend it for outside the gym honestly you can use these t-shirts for anything use them for lounging in use them for chilling in use them for running errands in use them to go to the gym these are like an everything t-shirt you can do everything in these whereas for example with the heavy cotton t-shirts i will pretty much just train in those because i don't find them like the comfiest or like the slouchiest for chilling in whereas these especially with the neckline being a bit lower than the heavy cotton ones i will be wearing these and have been wearing these all the time honestly if you're only going to get one item from this drop it would be this for me this is definitely definitely my favorite item in terms of sizing true to size like if you're an extra small you can get an extra small and it will still be give you like a nice relaxed oversized fit especially as a woman going to mat going to men's i prefer a medium which is always the size i prefer in t-shirts from alpha Lee. 
So whatever size you prefer in the t-shirts you get from the men's range with Alpha Lee, go with that size because I prefer a medium in most men's tees and I prefer a medium in these. Uh, the only thing to note on these is the sleeves are quite long. So if you are not a fan of the long sleeve, one of the longer sleeve, one, you might not like these, but two, maybe consider going more with your normal size and sizing up if you usually would. Because like you'll see with the extra small, you can still get a good fit. I prefer the extra small if I'm going to want to tuck it in all the way around. The extra small is better because it's not too much fabric. Whereas if I'm wanting to do the back tuck, the medium is better because the front on the extra small just looks weird. When I tuck it at the back, it just looks like there's not enough material there to tuck it at the back, but not at the front. Whereas the medium, definitely better for a back tuck. So it depends, you know, if you're just wanting these this to wear full length, go with your normal size. I'd say if you're wanting this or any t-shirt from Alpha Lee to tuck up the back of your sports bra and have that sort of like oversized look effect whilst it not look awkward or weird, I would recommend with going one to two sizes up. So like for me, I'm normally an extra small or a small in tops and I would prefer a medium for that. Uh, but honestly, the sizing, sizing with t-shirts is so hard to give because it's completely dependent on how you like your tees to fit. But um, men, if you're buying it and you just want the normal fit, Dan says that these are true to size. So yeah, true to size, just go with what size you prefer. I prefer a medium if I'm doing a back tuck. If I want to tuck it all the way around, I would go extra small. Okay, moving on to the final top that I picked up. Um, I did actually order the long sleeve heavy cotton tee just to try it out for you guys and let you know what I think because I've not done heavy cotton in a long sleeve before, but I think it's just not come in as a shipment yet. So I haven't actually got my little paws on that. Uh, but if I do, if it turns up, I will do an update on Instagram and let you know. Got this little mock neck number. Um, so just to go over the details very quick, Alpha Lee is sort of stitched in on the side, but you can definitely feel it. Like there's a texture to it. It's not completely flat. It's still sort of raised a bit whilst being stitched in. Um, ribbed mock necks are like turtleneck for the UK people. And then long sleeves. I got this in the white. These are sort of cuffed at the bottom sort of like a balloony sort of sleeve with a tighter cuff at the bottom and then it honestly is just like a plain top full length comes right down no branding on the back the only branding is there on the neck so same fabric as the other tees so you already know the vibes by now just a note because this is the only thing i got in white when you pull it tight you can see whatever you've got on underneath so i wouldn't recommend going browless in these i got this in a medium I got this to try it out. You know, they've never done anything like this before. This is definitely more of a lifestyle piece. I've definitely noticed like Christian is definitely more in his fashion era at the moment. And I feel like that's sort of showing through some of the men's designs in particular that Alpha Lee has been coming out with, which I'm not mad at. I think this is a cool design. Obviously, it's just not for me. <laughs> like, this was never really going to suit me. I don't think this looks bad on Dan, which you'll see. I don't think this looks bad on Dan, but again, it's also not really Dan's sort of thing. He said it would be like a golfing top for him, not something that he would wear like day to day. When he put it on, it was definitely giving priest vibes. I really don't want to sit here and talk about how like not cute I think this is because this is definitely a personal style thing. This is the same as the other t-shirts. It's buttery soft. It's super stretchy. Dan said this is a medium. He's normally a large, but he said a medium is fine. So these are maybe running a little bit bigger. Um, so you could maybe, if you're a guy looking at this, maybe go a size down. The medium on me is huge. If I was to want it to fit properly around my neck, I'd probably need a small. It's just not my personal preference. So I don't really have much else to say on that because I don't see the point in like sitting and roasting something that was realistically never for me anyway. This is definitely a piece for people who this is their personal style because this isn't a gym top i think you would be quite uncomfortable training this in the gym this fabric like i mentioned is already quite insulated so then in a mock neck i can imagine it would be very very uncomfortable to train in okay we're on to some accessories now and then i'll go over the shorts so we picked up two caps so i got the cap in seashell and i also got it in black um the black one is black slash seashell because this bit here is in seashell so it says alpha lee here it's like stitched in 
you've got this nice like distressed detail in which they've not done before and i'm gonna be honest it looks really really cool it says it's enzyme washed for a worn in look and feel embroidered graphic on the brim like i said adjustable strap at the back if you got a cap from i think it was the january restock those caps i really didn't like they had a weird leather strap at the back which was brown which i hated because i just felt like it looked so weird and it felt really flimsy and this clasp had like the eiffel tower on it there was no like alpha leak logo on the back of it I think it was just a weird batch of caps. I wasn't a huge fan of those and I normally do like Alpha Elite caps. So if you bought the caps in January and you didn't like them, these are back to their normal, really nice, high quality clasp at the back where you can adjust it. So if you've got a little pony say, you can pop it through here. About the depth of caps a lot, these aren't like a deep cap. These are more sort of like, um, sort of like if you worked at McDonald's, if anyone's ever worked at McDonald's, that sort of depth to a cap it's more of like a flatter cap than like a deep basketball cap for example the thing that takes some getting used to is this can look quite long at first um what dan showed me to do is to like bend it like this and if you bend it it looks a lot better i feel like when they come they're very like long um and it can look a bit weird so if you like bend it it looks it looks a lot better i really like these caps when i got my nose done i lived in the alpha league caps and they've not really changed other than the design um so if you've got an alpha league cap that you like you will like these again you know on those days where you just can't be asked to wash your hair absolute lifesaver um i would like put it on but because i've got my bun in i feel like it's just not really gonna work okay it sort of works this is what they look like on as I said, these are actually quite long, so I feel like the more you bend it, the better it looks. I really like these caps. I prefer this style to like Dan's basketball ones. They look ridiculous on my head. I don't like a super deep one. This is definitely more my vibe. Would love to be absolutely slaying in this with a bikini on holiday. That's why I got the seashell one, because I've got a lot of like neutral bikinis. In Mexico, I'm going to be living my best life, because on top of SPF, a very good way to protect i think i've just taken my makeup off a very good way to protect your skin is also to wear hats so yeah there really isn't much else to say on these other than these are just amazing we love the dad hats um so yeah i really really like alpha Lee's hats i have no issues with them got this in seashell and black um the black's definitely easier to wear but i feel like for holidays i'm really going to be enjoying the seashell so yeah fully approved by me and is also to my personal taste so it is something that i will be using and getting my use out of okay the next accessory i'm kicking myself i dropped these off at the gym today without realizing that i needed to film this video alpha are doing knee sleeves they're also doing wrist straps i didn't pick up any wrist straps because i don't use them i didn't feel like there was much point in me picking them up one i'm not gonna be able to critique wrist straps i don't use them two I won't use them so it's not helpful whereas knee sleeves i've never used them before but i know that i should be using them because i've got tendon issues with my knees i took the black pair and i got a size small however i'm an idiot i dropped these off at the gym today because i've never worn knee sleeves before i have no point of comparison i don't know if these fit smaller than other brands i don't know if these fit bigger i don't know if there's a glaring quality issue that i wouldn't be aware of because i do not wear knee sleeves on a regular basis that other people might pick up on um i don't know how these compare to other brands because i've not tried them so i just thought why like the gym i go to there's a lot of like power lifters and girls who do like crossfit sort of things they wear knee sleeves all the time so i dropped them off at the gym today so that the girlies can try them out let me know what they think don't worry they are under strict instructions i've told them it doesn't matter if they don't like them just tell me why they don't like them and i will pass on the information because i feel like that's a much more valuable opinion than me like i might find these amazing but i've also not tried anything else and in comparison to other things they might actually be subpar equally in comparison to other things these might be the best things since sliced bread but i don't know that because i've not used knee sleeves and i'm not comfortable reviewing a product whether it's positively or negatively when i don't know much about that product and i don't know much about knee sleeves so they're currently at the gym 
waiting for the girls to use them so as soon as they have used them and given me feedback it will be in the pinned comment below i'm so sorry i don't have them to show you i <laughs> i fucked up high grade seven millimeter neoprene medium support snap buttons to keep your sleeves together reinforced seams for long lasting use left and right silicone indicator core word mark printed at the top of the sleeve the only thing to note is i know that um when you wear them when you take them off left and right will be imprinted on your legs <laughs> um because i've seen that happen to a few girls and guys on instagram that have been using them so if you've got anywhere to go afterwards maybe just cover up your knees so that people don't think you need to know which is your left and right leg um but yeah they're coming in black and linen i picked up the black ones i will, I will review them in the comment from the seasoned knee sleeve users i want to make sure that the review is actually valuable not just me saying these are amazing but i've never tried anything else so i don't know okay last item i am so surprised about these shorts i saw that alphalete posted yesterday that these mesh shorts are their most well received product since amplify dropped i had to ask in my group chat is there something i'm missing because in the uk these would not be typically worn a lot I was like, is this, am I missing something? Apparently in America, mesh shorts are like a huge thing. Loads of brands do them and they're like sell out every single drop. Um, people are like obsessed with mesh shorts in America. And you know what? A lot of people, when they were asking me about this drop, what's going to sell out? A lot of people were very quick to say the mesh shorts won't sell out. On Black Friday, these went so quick. I was shocked. I don't know if it's just because they didn't order as much because they weren't sure how it would be received or because they were a unisex item you know there was men and women trying to go for them and they were on sale but they went quick on black friday so don't underestimate these shorts they seem to be a very 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 popular product this time they have got men's and they've got women's so i'm going to go over the men's first um they've got the lbd more mesh short six inch is the same design as the ones that i have from october so instead of getting those i got the wolf head mesh short six inch ah relaxed this branding is a new style and apparently these are a new fit I think christian said on his story they've added 0.75 inches to the waistband on these from the october drop ones which were more of a uni which were a unisex item but now the men's are just men's and now the women's have got women's um so yeah they added 0.75 of an inch to the waistband i don't know if that's 0.75 of an inch but they are slightly bigger these are both a size small and they got these in the black so these are very very sleek looking it just says alphalete here it's like a ironed on sort of logo it just says alphalete and it's got wolf at the bottom now i'm very very happy about a certain change that they've made because when these launched in october this logo here had this sort of clear vinyl seal over it but you'll remember if you watched my black friday haul mine was peeling away already and i don't know where it's gone but it's completely come off now it's probably come off in the wash because i do actually spoiler alert i do like these i wear these all the time for lounging in that's just come off in the wash at some point i don't know when but that completely came off so i was hoping when they did them when i thought they were coming back that they would have taken that off and they have so there's no vinyl like the hard sort of vinyl see-through thing over it that sort of was peeling away on the old ones there isn't that anymore i don't know if anyone else had that issue let me know if you did but i had that issue there's none of that anymore not on the women's and not on the men's ones either <coughs> details if you don't know about the mesh shorts they've just got a little cinched waistband these are a six inch inseam these are the men's ones you've got drawstrings with like the flat flattened rubber rubber sort of wax dipped end so you can tighten the waistband you've then got this little alphalete tag which looks very slick on the back branding like i said is on the bottom left on these and two different styles so you've got the learn more dream or be more and then you've got the alphalete wolf head and yeah on the inside they're not that it's all the same sort of feeling fabric it's like very silky soft like seriously like look at how stretchy these are these are insanely stretchy so much stretch to them so soft and then they've got a diamond cut mesh overlay on the outside the liner is like fully attached so it's not like we've running shorts sometimes where it's not attached it's like fully one short sewn in so like nothing's going to be sticking out the bottom 
if you don't already have these or you've not tried them so you've not seen them before if you don't know what the fabric is like just think like a silky mesh jersey like super soft like very very silky feel if you don't like slick feeling things you won't like them anywhere in the uk i don't know if you had it in america the mesh shorts we had to wear in pa they feel like that i feel like that's why a lot of uk people don't get the mesh short hype because it is for us guys giving pe vibes but i got these in a size small um men i know that dan said he tried these in the size small he would prefer a medium so the men's fit considering he's a medium in all bottoms these are definitely true to size for a relaxed comfortable fit girls i would say go with the size that you are in your women's sort of shorts in this style so for example if you've got a pair of here comes the sun shorts that you really like the fit of go with the same size that you have in those shorts in these um if you like the element shorts for example go with that same size in these i don't think you need to size down because they're men's um i actually find weirdly and i'm gonna put in a side by side I find the men's small in these shorts fits tighter than the women's four inch size small. I don't know why. Let me know if I'm going crazy. Maybe it's because it's a longer inseam and it's the way it sits, but these feel tighter than the women's do. Um, so I found that quite interesting, but I do like the size small. I like how the size small fits. To be honest, I don't really notice a difference when they're on between the size that I got in October. So if you already have a pair of these shorts that you like the fit of, go with the same size again. Um, I wear these for lounging in and I was having this conversation in my group chat. I wear these for lounging in. It's not my personal style. It's not something I'd wear out the house. I would consider wearing them on holiday or like to travel in maybe. But I wouldn't wear these day to day. It's not my personal style. It's not something I'd train in. It's just not very me. So when it comes to like, would I recommend these? I really struggle because it's a good quality product. There's no glaring quality issue with it, especially not now they've got rid of like the see-through vinyl that was over it. I've been asked as well about how they wash. My ones from October are completely fine. Like, and I've probably washed them like 10 times. But there's no, now that that clear vinyl's gone, there's no real like quality concerns for these. And from what I remember, these are really well priced as well. So if it is your thing, then go for it. I just feel like for me, I really want to like tread carefully on what I'm fully recommending because it's not that they're a bad product. It's just that I would only wear them for lounging in. And I have to really put my consumer brain on. If I wasn't getting sent these for free, would I spend my would I spend my money on them for my personal style for no one to really see them other than the four walls inside the house? I don't know. But then it's hard because I do actually really like them. But I just don't think if I wasn't getting sent them for free, they'd be something that I would spend my money on even though they're not badly priced. It's just a personal preference thing. Like it's not because they're they're not great quality and that's why I wouldn't want to spend the money. It's just like for my personal style, I don't want to sit here and be like, I'm obsessed with these, I wear these everywhere, I'd wear these. I realistically only wear these to lounge in and I really like them for lounging in, but would I be spending like between 30 and 40 pounds for a pair of shorts that no one really sees no i feel like for that price i'd probably be more inclined to get myself like a silky pair of pajamas from somewhere um so yeah let me know if that made any sense um but I'm, i like to try and be careful with what i'm like fully recommending to move on to the women so because these did so well they've now come out with a women's cut in these so i got these in seashell which by the way is not the same as like the seashell cap it's actually a lot lighter you'll see in the try and clip as well i had a seashell tank on it's a lot lighter this is like a true like creamy color if you have anything in seashell it'll go with it but this is a lot lighter it's like a true creamy sort of yellowy toned white color um so i got these in a medium and then i got the sage color in a size small so these are like a brand new item for alpha Lee. they didn't do women's last time they were just a unisex short so 
it's a completely like new sort of cut and all that sort of stuff. Like flat laid, the men's and the women's. These are both a size small. I've worked out why they fit different. The men's ones are just a lot more of like a straight fit through the leg. So if you want these shorts to be more like tighter on the leg and not flare out, I would definitely go with the men's. The women's cut, as you can see, actually has like a lot more width through the thigh. Um, I did also actually like run around doing some squats and RDLs in these. These are not too short, like alphalete shorts like this are very often way too short, but you could 100% train in the women's cut of these. It's just gonna depend which one you prefer, but yeah, that's why the small in the women's fits so different. The men's is definitely more of like a straight cut whereas the women's comes like out more. But yeah, the details on, in terms of like the fabric and all that sort of stuff is the exact same as the mesh shorts. So I won't go over that again. Um, the branding is this little LBD and then it says Alphalete through it in like the cur cursive logo. Again, it's sort of like the sticker thing. So you do need to be careful. Do not put an iron over these. <laughs> No offense, if you put an iron over that at like a high heat, you're just asking for trouble. It will like melt and peel off. So don't iron these. You wouldn't need to iron these anyway. I've never ironed the blue ones and I feel like they're a little bit crinkled, but they definitely don't look bad. Ends, everything's tonal. So like the drawstrings on these are sage, drawstrings on the black ones are black, drawstrings on the seashell ones are seashell. Then you've got the Alphalete logo at the back. They're honestly the exact same, like the diamond cut over them is the exact same as well there really isn't a difference i did get asked about if these like snag i have snagged like a couple tiny little holes i've got a little bit of snaggage on my pair from october i don't know if you can see but you know they've not like completely like ripped or shredded i feel like with mesh you need to be careful if you are going to use these in the gym i wouldn't recommend that you sit on a turf or the gym floor i'd recommend sitting on benches and mats only in terms of sizing i feel like for these they're true to size for a relaxed fit so a small on me would be my true size for this sort of a short from alphalete and it fits relaxed but I do really like how the medium fits. It's definitely a bit more oversized. It doesn't really cling to me at all. Um, when I first tried these on, I much preferred how the medium fitted. But to be honest, I actually like both just for different reasons. Days where I'm feeling a bit more bloated or just don't really want anything tighter on my skin, the medium would be better. But for the days where I'm feeling a bit better and I want my shorts to hug me a little bit more, obviously they're not skin tight, but give a little bit more... I think they do look a bit more flattering on my figure in a small. Just from like a comfort point of view, I really like the medium. So depends how you like your shorts to fit. If you want a true relaxed fit, stay true to size. You don't need to size up or size down. If you want more of an oversized fit where they just sort of like hang and don't cling to you, especially if you've got like a bum and that sort of stuff, go with one size up. In terms of if I prefer the men's or the women's, Honestly, I actually haven't decided yet. I think I need a bit more time to see which ones I reach more for lounging in. I like both. I don't really prefer one or the other immediately. I think because I'm going to use them for lounging in, I just sort of feel like it's hard to prefer one over the other because no one really sees me in them. Maybe when I watch these clips back, I'll think, whoa, that looks a lot better. I'll put it on the screen or I'll leave it in a pinned comment, but I actually do like both. Like I said, it's not like a must product for me. It's not something I'm going to say I'm obsessed with and I, you know, really... I would recommend it if this is your personal style. But if you have a similar personal style to me, unless you're comfortable parting with that money for something you're just going to lounge in, I wouldn't recommend. However, if these are your personal style, you will look stunning in them. They're definitely a nice fit. They feel really good quality. There's no quality issues with them. And I think the US girlies are going to eat these up the UK girls, I'm not so sure, but yeah, guys as well love these shorts. If you need to get your boyfriend a present, these shorts seem to have gone down very, very well with the men. With the men? With the men. So I'm going to pop Dan's little haul in here and also my little styling bit. The reason I went for the large is because, because of the, the armhole. Yeah. I feel like in the images, they seem quite tight. Yeah. I don't really want my arm being strangled. Yeah. Or it feeling that way. No. So these arm armholes are actually probably perfect. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're too tight in the medium. Well, you'll show you the medium anyway. Yes, we will. Too tight in the medium. Brick, what do you think? The fabric's really nice. It's different to the performance tees and the Aspire ones that I've got you. It's not too thick and heavy. It's like a brushed cotton. Yeah, whatever you say. Soft, well that's what it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is definitely going to be one of my go-to training tops. What do you think of like the overall like cut and fit of it? Do you prefer that or do you prefer like the more narrower ones? No, I definitely prefer this sort of fit. Yeah. But I would definitely prefer like a deeper cut armhole. Side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because it just gives you a little bit more room. Yeah. But yeah. Around the neck, good. Yeah. I think, yeah, just nice. Okay. We've panned down to the joggers. So you've got the black ones on in a medium. These are the relaxed academy joggers. These are new. We've not done them before. Um, the only joggers that Dan has tried is like the more nylon feel ones. So like the tight fit, um, tighter fit, tapered fit, smart looking men's ones, like the premium range and stuff. So these are completely different. Um, Dan, what do you think? I think they're really good for just like chilling. Relaxing. Yeah. They give me Aladdin vibes at the bottom. <laughs> from running through the streets of Agrabah. In a in a in a bad way? No, no, good. Good. We love switching it up. But yeah. as you said before, the joggers I usually go for are like the tapered ones. Yeah. And sometimes after a long day, like you don't want to be slipping into these tapered joggers, like they just don't no, have too much give they're them. Comfy, yeah. yeah, these are much more What's the length like on you? It's good. I don't have the longest legs. You know, I'm quite short in comparison to my body. Yeah. Like 29, 30 inch leg. Good round the waist as well. I'm like a 32, 33 waist. You're a true medium and a medium is like perfect, isn't it? Yeah, no. For your, for your bottom half. Okay, this clip's just to show you the color. So it's got seashell on in a large, again, um, fits the exact same. It's literally just a different color. This was a really popular color when these launched maybe like two months ago um just something to note the logo on the tank is in black on seashell i know that the logo on the seashell t-shirt is in like a sangria red color um i think it would have looked better if it was like tonal but that's just something to note do you like the seashell color dan for me no you don't like it no it's more i feel like it's more of a, a girly color okay i thought you did like it I don't mind it. Okay, so we've got the cut off in a medium now just to show you really quick that it's like, I think it's all right on your neck. It's your armpits, like, that just does not fit. No, like, turn to the side as well. I feel like, turn, lift your arm up. Yeah, I just feel like it's too tight, isn't it? In a medium. This is far too tight, yeah. Yeah. The armhole, it's not really giving me comfort. Are you a true large in top? So these yeah, are true no. to size then? Yeah. Okay, so we've got the cap and then the new T version. So this is just like the t-shirt version of the tank set launching. What size have you got the t-shirt on in? This one's a large. Like, like the sleeves were. Brandon's on the front. I don't really need to go over this. I'm going to go over this in the haul. But this is how a large looks on Dan. And then he's got the cap on as well. Fabric's the exact same as the tank. So it's LBD, so it means learn more, dream more, be more. But I understand it's confusing because there's no M's in there. When I first saw it, I was a bit confused, but that's what it stands for. Oh, it's cap. Obviously, it's got that distressed... Detailing. Yeah, yeah it looks there. cool, doesn't it? There, if you are a guy watching this or if you're a girl wanting to buy an outfit for your boyfriend, this would be the outfit I would probably buy for Dan. I'd get him a pair of the relaxed joggers because I feel like men need to stop wearing skin tight joggers. It's not really the vibes anymore. Um, no offense if you still want to, but I just feel like these do look better. They look cooler. I'd get him a t-shirt in black because you can't go wrong. It literally goes with everything. A black or white t-shirt, I think you can, really can't go wrong with. And a cap as well, if they're a cap wearer. Okay, Dan's now got on the mock neck, uh, long sleeve and white. Dearly beloved, <laughs> we are gathered here today to celebrate. <laughs> The life of Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's giving um, he's giving, he's giving, he's giving Reverend vibes. Father, I can. Do you know what? I've seen this on Christian, and I do think it suits him. But I feel like this needs to be your style to look good on you. Do you know what I mean? 
So you're saying is it looks terrible on me? No, 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 no. It's just the first time he was wearing it. Yeah, do some little shots. It's just the first time he wore it. I remember thinking, oh, that looks a bit weird. But then the more he's wore it, the more you get used to seeing someone in that style. And now I think it suits him. So maybe it's just because I've never seen you in a mock neck, but we would call it. But on the sheet, I think it says mock neck. So I don't, okay. I'm using the American terms. Okay. I'm not going to confuse anyone. Um, that's a medium. Yes, it is actually. Which how, is strange because... How do you like it? Fit wise? I feel like it's the right size. I feel like there's a lot of... There's a lot of stretch lot to of it. Stretch in the Same arm, fabric like, as the other fabric. ones. Same fabric as the other ones. Yeah. I think this would be ideal for playing golf in. That's about it for you, isn't I don't, it? I, I don't feel like this is really like a lifting top. But oh, it's not. It's, this is more of a lifestyle more piece. Like no one's going to be wearing this yeah. in the gym. I think golf. I think you'd be a golfer. Yeah. So that... Oh, we need to pan you down a bit further. So that you can see the other style of jogger. So this is the more like tapered fit jogger. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. I'll put it on the screen. Uh, the branding's a bit different. So you've got Alpha Elite Athletics on the side. It's not the little tag thing. It's on in a medium. This is in the smoke colour. So if you've got uh, smoke amplify, uh, it's meant, meant to go with that. Um, the cuff on the bottom, <laughs> I think is just so weirdly long. What, what do you think? Is this a man thing? Why is it so long? I don't know. I think or is it is, like a gym boy thing if you've got excessive. skinny ankles? It's just way too much cuff. I mean, maybe half of that. Yeah, I agree. But no what, more than half. What do you think of the fit? Is the medium all right? I actually think they're quite nice right here. Yeah. I feel like they're quite, they're quite smart. They're definitely not got as much material as the others. No, they're definitely smart. It's a more smarter. of a tapered fit, but not like spray on. Yeah. Like, they're great up until the cuff. Okay, so now we've got the same t-shirt as the black one this is just in the heavy gray color it's also a medium to be honest looking at that on you i really don't feel like there's a big difference between a medium and a large oh i'm not breathing the top's the true size if i push my belly out as much as i can all right i'm i was just Definitely. saying like looking at you it didn't look any different but how it feels obviously is different it's tight around the armpit yeah i guess it's it's okay through this a bit of the arm, there's definitely not, but like around this bit here, this is where it feels like, yeah, I feel like it might look a little bit ridiculous on my back. Yeah. Like here and here. And I don't feel like you want to spray on t-shirt when you're training. In shorts, you've got the men's mesh shorts on. These are in a size small, Dan would actually be a medium. Um, but thoughts on the shorts. I saw on the Instagram yesterday that this is apparently the like most well received product since amplify so these shorts are like really popular so what do you think so this is the male equivalent of amplify yeah where's the butt scrunch <laughs> i'll tell you what <laughs> they feel pretty tight well yeah because they're a size small you need you'd need a medium i feel like they're, other than the bum they don't actually look weird on you like they're not too tight on the leg Mainly the bum, the super stretchy. If they were my yeah, if they were my size, I probably would wear them. Would you wear them to the gym? Would you wear them on holiday? Would you wear them chilling? I wouldn't wear. I don't think I'd wear them out on holiday. I'd definitely wear them just like chilling, just mm -hmm. lounging around. Yeah. They just feel like that sort of short. Yeah. Yeah, they feel like quite. They're quite silky. Yeah. Do you think a medium? Best. I think based off the small, a medium would be fine because a small isn't like insanely small. Do you know what I mean? A medium would be fine. Yeah. Yeah. So shorts, true to size for the yeah. fellas for a for a normal fit. And that's that marks the end of Dan's haul, guys. Thanks very much, Dan. All styling, Dan's haul, everything. That's the end of everything. We're done now. This video is finished, commenced, done. Launch, like I said, is the 20th, 6 pm UK time, but more of a men's launch. Like I said, if there's something you really want and you're gonna be annoyed if it sells out don't wait just get it because it might sell out especially i watched a podcast the other day and christian was saying their sales is like 70 percent women 30 percent men which to me makes me think as well they probably don't order as much men's stuff as they do women's which i think is why it sells out a bit quicker like it did last time with the t-shirts so if there's something you really really want i would just get it i wouldn't personally wait because i told people to do that last time and things sold out if you are on the fence about something, my best advice is always to just wait it out. Because the chances are, in a month's time when you go to do another order, 
if you were really on the fence about it you probably won't want it in a month's time which means you didn't really want it anywhere you just had FOMO that's a really good way of working out whether you want something or not and if it's still there and you still want it perfect you can get it but if it's sold out maybe it wasn't meant to be um my most recommended item from this drop is the new t-shirts i really really like them they're like fully approved by me i'm yeah that's one of my new favorite tops from alphaly i will be training in them i will be doing my errands in them i will be chilling in them i love those t-shirts um so yeah any questions if you need size and help please message below or message me on Instagram with your measurements, the item you're interested in, and your fit preference, so I can help you with sizing. If you've got any questions about anything, let me know below, or again, message me on Instagram, and I will get back to you. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video. I'm gonna leave it here. I will see you next month for an Amplify drop. Let me know if you want me to ask Gabby to make a comeback. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave this video here, guys, because my voice, she's going. She's exiting um i hope the video was helpful subscribe if you want to and you haven't already give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next video bye